No, O oh Prince, that in between the years when the oceans drank Atlantis and the gleaming cities, and the years of the rise of the sons of the Aryas, there was an age undreamed of, when shining kingdoms lay spread beneath the world like blue mantles beneath the stars. Nemedia, Ophir, Berthunia, Hyperborea, Zamora with his dark-haired women and towers of spider-haunted mystery, Zingara with its chivalry, Koth that bordered on the pastoral lands of Shem, Stygia with its shadow-guarded tombs, Hyrcania whose riders wore steel and silk and gold. But the proudest kingdom in the world was Aquilonia, reigning supreme in the dreaming west. Hither came Conan the Sumerian, black-haired, sullen-eyed, sword in hand, a thief, a reaver, a slayer, with gigantic melancholies and gigantic mirths, to tread the jeweled thrones of earth beneath his sandaled feet. They had me. <laughs> I think we turn to fiction, at least in part, to provide us with something we don't have in our real lives. Growing up in Bayonne, we had no money. We never went anywhere. I lived in a world that was five blocks long, so I dreamed of going to Mars, going to Shanghai, going to Middle Earth, all sorts of fabulous places where things would be amazing and wonderful, and I would see incredible sights beyond the sights that I could see between First Street and Fifth Street. The, the best fantasies, and science fiction stories for that matter, create worlds that are vivid and that do seem very real to us. And my stories, I think, are similarly defined by, by Westeros, you know, Westeros achieves its own imaginative reality. I know for some writers, uh, they, they, they do the world building before they even write the story, but certainly not me. I mean, Game of Thrones and, and the whole Song of Ice and Fire sequence began with my vision of a chapter where some people, some medieval people, find some dire wolf pups in uh, summer snows. I always knew there were summer snows. Why did I know that? But I knew that right from the beginning. And as I wrote the books, as I wrote the story, the world evolved. And at some point I stopped, I drew a map. The map has gradually become more detailed. It's, it's a process of filling in. Well, I, I, I have always said that I believe there are two types of writers, which I call the architect and the gardener. Um, the architect plans everything in advance. He draws up his blueprint. He knows where the plumbing is going to run. He knows how many rooms they're going to be, exactly what the square footage of each room is. Everything is finalized before you dig the hole in the ground or drive the first nail. The gardener, he may know the general shape of the garden that he wants, but still, he's digging a hole in the ground, he's planting a seed. And, you know, he has some idea what's going to come up, the gardener. He, the gardener knows whether he's planted an oak tree or whether he's planted a radish. So it's not totally random, but, you know, is the oak tree going to be a healthy oak tree? Is it going to be windblown? Is lightning going to strike it? There's a lot that goes to chance with the, and to other elements uh, with, with the gardener. The, the garden is a living thing. And I think it's the same for writers. I think all writers are a mixture of both. Um, but some lean much more heavily to one side than, than to the other. Uh, and there's no doubt that I lean much more heavily to the gardener side. People who incline more to the architect side sometimes don't really understand how, how the, 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 the gardener type of writer works. And they have this misapprehension that you don't know anything about what you're doing or where you're going which is not true, you do, you do know where you're going, but at least in broad strokes. I mean, there's a lot of things you don't know, you discover those things on a journey, and that's what makes the journey interesting. That makes what makes driving across country much more interesting than just getting on an airplane and getting off the airplane at the other end. One is quicker, but the other one, to my mind, is more an adventure, is more interesting.